in this segment, we're going to take a look at the layout tools and the layout toolbar I have here at the bottom of my workspace. So first of all, you have um, several things in the layout toolbar. We've got display work area and we have define work area. And we have copy and mirror to circle or sorry to corners, copy to circle, the number of times around the circle, and then we have move to center and a check mark or an apply box. Now, I guess just as an example, let's just get started by creating a simple um, circular shape and we'll place it here. Now, if you had a, an embroidery design and you wanted to make sure your embroidery design was in the center of your hoop, you could select your embroidery design and just use the tool right here. Move to center and it basically moves my circle right to the center of my hoop and I need to click on the green check box to apply that. So if it was an embroidery design, that would have moved the entire embroidery design to the center of the hoop. So that's one way that you can ensure that everything is centered in your embroidery hoop. Now, let's click that circle and move it out into one of the sort of corners. And I'm going to show here how the copy and mirror to corners works. So I guess first of all, if I click on that, it shows me the circle put in all four corners. And if I check on the apply box, it copies that circle to all the corners. And I'm going to just undo that. And same thing if I put that circle, like, say, on the inside corner, then it's going to basically match the inside corner. So again, I'm going to just choose copy to corners and say OK. So what you can see is basically the center is right here. The center of your hoop becomes the center of the layout area. So if I choose undo, so wherever you put the object or embroidery design that you want to use this with, away from in in this case in the top left quadrant that I've placed it away from the center that's the exact same distance that it'll be in the other four corners and you can't really see it mirroring all that well um, perhaps if I had a shape that had something a little bit more defined so why don't I just delete that circle and put in you know whatever just basically a little just some kind of a shape so that you can see that it also copies it. It doesn't just copy it, it mirror images it. So when I click on this now, you'll see that it flips it to this bottom corner and then it flips it to this other bottom corner and it flips it again to this corner. So they're all mirror imaged to the original. And again, you check box to apply. Now something else about this tool that you should know is if the objects overlap so in this case, maybe what I'll do is I'm going to move, hmm, how can I do this? I'll, I'll move my uh, object to be something like this here. So it's overlapping on the center. And that way, when I choose to copy a mirror to corners, my objects are going to overlap. Now let's see what happens when I say apply to that. I get an option. Do you want to merge the overlapped objects? It's a yes or no. So if I say no, I'll get four individual objects that have an area where they overlap each other. Okay. Now I'm going to hit undo. Oops, putting it back there. And this time I'll do it again, but I won't say no. I'll say yes to that question. So when it comes up with do I want to merge the overlapped objects, if I say yes, now you'll see that it actually combined the shapes to make one new shape. So there's, if you look at them, you can see here that they've become one object and there is no overlapped area to them. It's simply merged or welded those two shapes together. So that's an option that you may find comes up from some time. Now I'm going to switch from looking at this just with basic simple shapes. Why don't I open up an embroidery design? Um, something like maybe this doll would be an appropriate um, design that we could try with copy to corners. So for example, uh, if I choose my hoop to be a larger embroidery hoop and then select that doll and put the doll out here in one of the corners and then choose copy to corners, it puts the doll in all four corners and she's mirror imaged from herself like that and I'll say apply. Now one thing that I want to show about this and I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to undo so we can see that happen again and I'm just going to 
minimize this in the resequence bar, I'm just going to show it by colors. So you can see that the design shows dark pink, light pink, green, and white. Now, when I select the design, control A, copy to corners, and hit the checkbox, it duplicates the design, but it does not duplicate the color sequence. In other words, it'll actually show all, maybe if I undo the visualizer here, it does all of the dress, the doll's dress, in one color stop, and it does all of the bonnets in the next, and it does all of the highlights in the next, and all of the hands in the next. So what you can see there is that although it duplicated the design around my shape, it did not simply make a copy of it, it actually blended them together so that the sewing sequence is doesn't have an unnecessary number of um, color stops. Now, I mean, that's fine when you only have four dolls, but wait until we start combining in the circle mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose a new design here. I'll say open. And why don't we try, let's see, one of these floral designs that would look good around a circle. Let's see what we've got. Um, well, this one would look nice. Why don't we try that? So here we have a little two-color flower design. And what I can do, well, first of all, I'm going to choose a larger embroidery hoop. And I'm just going to go Control A to select all. And I'm going to move this up away from the center of my hoop. Now I have it selected. And I'm going to choose copy to circle and it's set for four copies right now so there would be one two three new copies made but I can increase that number five six seven eight nine and you can see here that it's creating a nice design and if I hit the apply box it'll go ahead and duplicate the objects to create nine new little flower designs um, to create a nice beautiful floral circle but yet it still does all of the pink and then it sews all of the green so it's one of the great things about the layout toolbar is it enables you to copy around a circle and not have it so pink and green and pink and green and pink and green ten times or however many times you choose now what about this work uh, the work area it says display work area or define work area why don't we create a layout work area. You see right now everything I've done has been sort of focused around one embroidery hoop but you can use this to go well beyond an embroidery hoop and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to not display my hoop. I'm going to zoom out. I guess one thing I'm going to do is undo to get rid of all of those extra circles. So we'll just have the one. And we can even leave the hoop on the screen. It doesn't cause any troubles. So there's the one flower, the original flower. I'm going to turn on define layout work area and so it gives me the opportunity to define the work area and right now it's set up as a rectangle that's a thousand millimeters by a thousand millimeters and the alternative option would be as a circle and I could met this my circle could have a diameter of a thousand millimeters or perhaps I want to make something slightly smaller why don't I go with 500 millimeters and I get to choose the color for my work out for my layout area, my work area. And you could have it green or perhaps pink would show up well. And I'm just going to say OK. Now the button beside that is to display the work area. So if I click on that, it's going to show me a 500 millimeter circle in pink. So it just shows me that I've defined an area. Imagine we have a beautiful little round tablecloth and we would like to sew this flower around the tablecloth and so we bring it out to the edge of our tablecloth and perhaps we'd like it to face um, the opposite direction because when the tablecloth's hanging over the table we'd like our flowers to be sort of facing down so I'll use flip not horizontally but vertically there that makes sense so now that I've placed my flower where I would like it to be, I could use copy to circle. And you see what it does? It places that flower around the circle of my work, my display area, my layout area. And now I could put in lots of, I could have 
less flowers. If you just want to sow six of them, that's fine. If you'd like, you've got room in here to put in a whole bunch of them. There's 17, 18 flowers, and I hit the checkbox. And it copies the flower around my layout work area. So I think you can see the idea with the layout mode is it gives us the ability to create a layout. And this, of course, leads into the next subject, which is going to be combined mode, because, of course, if we wanted to sew this tablecloth that we've now laid out, it's not really going to work out for us if we try and use our 200 millimeter square hoop for the MC11000, because, well, None of the designs are currently placed inside of the hoop. So I'll come to that in a moment when we get to combine mode and how we can go to these extra large layout sizes. But first of all, I just wanted to look at that copy to corners and copy to circle. And maybe I'll even do one more time copy to circle. I just think that these work so well. And let's see here, maybe um, something really pretty like this. So if I zoom out, and I take this design that was for the ST hoop and I switch to let's say the square hoop select my embroidery design and just move it to be lower in the embroidery hoop sort of like that then I use that copy to circle well now I don't think I want 18 copies because that looks well, it might look very interesting I'm just not sure it'll sew real well um, I'm gonna undo until I get down to four copies and you'll notice that four copies makes a really perfect circle out of this sort of oval design and so anyways when I click apply we create a very nice little circular floral design so that's the layout toolbar and basically you have the ability to display a layout area or define the layout area and then you have the ability to copy and mirror to corners or copy around a circle or move the design to the center of your hoop and that's the apply box so that is how you can use your layout toolbar.